James Ahedabo is here. How in the world did you make it back from the Big Easy and uh, in time to be on today? I'll tell you what, you know, a fast travel, to say the least. I mean, we got in probably around 4.35 a.m., a few hours of sleep, and here I am. Boom. Just Boom, like that. just like that. And when you leave here today, what happens next? Uh, resting all day. I, he's, I, you know, he's going to go home and say the least. Conk out. So congratulations on the win. Big, yeah, big win. Uh, frustratingly, though, I mean, huge lead, 28-3, and then here come the Saints. Can you can you give me a sense of what was going on there? Because John Gruden on TV was he was all about the picks. Oh, they're setting picks. They're picks. They're getting the receivers open on picks. Yeah. From your perspective, is that true? Yeah, it was very very much so. Um, you know, they they made great you know in-game adjustments. Um, you know, our offense was rolling. You know, our defense we were playing great. Um, you know, turnover there in, you know, in the second half gave them some momentum. And, you know, you give Drew Brees any bit of life and he's going to go after it. He's, you know, um, great quarterback in this league for a reason. Um, but oh, well, we Stafford's a great quarterback. Oh, I mean, no, I mean, no, no, I mean no, his no. first half, look at that. Yeah, I mean, first half, second half, Stafford played lights out, you know, and you can't take any away from that. But in terms of their, you know, rally back and their rally cry, I mean, he isn't going to go down without a fight. Golden Tate um, continuing his scoring ways. Yeah, I mean, Golden, I mean, you look across the board, everyone was getting involved. Ebron had a big time game. Joyk, Amir, I mean, guys were playing lights out last yeah, night. Yeah, coach called it a team win. Yeah. Can you I, elaborate? I would say complementary football, you know, special teams, um, defense and offense playing together as one and, and we got the win. Now, uh, here come the Saints. Uh, yeah. Colston right here, um, kind of wide open. Um, Whitehead vacated because he was worried about Spiller. Is that what? It was, it was kind of just a miscommun miscommunication on the blitz, excuse me. We had you know, two guys run a pressure. Only one of them was supposed to go, and the other was supposed to drop out. But um, you know, kind of that kind of happens when we when you're a pressure team. But guys came up and made up for it. No, no, the one touchdown w that was definitely a pick. You and Lawson seemed to kind of get turned around, and they were, I think they flagged yeah, they, you for yeah, a hold. Yeah they, um, yeah, they flagged me for a hold, which I mean, it's 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 a tough call. I mean, the receiver ran directly into me and kind of hit me right. you know, on my hip so he could free up uh, the well, other guy. It didn't guy. look so much like a hold as if you got yeah. tangled just up got and tangled you came up down and, on top of him. You know, yeah, and I came down on top of him. It's it's a tough call, but you know, in those situations, the refs are always going to favor the receiver. And, um, you know, that, and that's really what they did. I mean, they used the switch releases to try to get guys because we play, you know, man-to-man -man coverage. We're in your face, and they kind of use that right. to kind of create separation. So tell me about this uh, college funding one, two, three. Yeah, um, so this is really cool. I was yeah. reading into this during the commercial. Yeah, it's breaker. pretty exciting. I mean, we teamed up with you know college funding one, two, three, and what they do is they have uh, relationships with universities and colleges all over the country where they get scholarships um, funding for students. So it was a great you know opportunity for you know my charity Hope Africa to team up with them and um, even find uh, more local scholarships here in Detroit as well as across the nation using that that network. So yeah, so college funding one. One, two, three has been helping local students successfully navigate the complex maze of college admissions and financial aid since 2003. So yeah, it's been around yeah, a while. Yeah, it's been a while, and, they, and they've had a lot of success. I mean, getting uh, scholarships for students up to $47,000. I mean, they, they do a great job, so it was, a, it was a great opportunity for us to team up with them. So uh, let me ask you this. After you uh, rest up and, um, you know, get something to eat, do you actually, I mean, obviously you're going to study game film yes. um, at the complex, but when you're at home, do you go back and uh, go online or go to ESPN and, and look at what they're saying and what they're, what they're doing? No. I, well, first of all, I don't read anything of what, you know, media says about our team or any of that. I, I try to stay away from it. Um, but of course, you know, I'm going to go back and study what we did, you know, on, on tape and then and then, you know, get ready for uh, 49ers. Well, so, I mean, you, being a future broadcaster, I figured you'd like watch the studio <laughs> shows and see, you know, what you could do that. that hey, you know, I was I was talking to my man Ray, Ray, Ray Lewis last night, getting a little pointer. So.